Hey everybody, Syntax77 here, along with my good pal Denali. We're just out in the woods checking out a new piece of gear that I wanted to show to you. And that is an addition for my Dutchware Chameleon hammock. Actually, I got two I... What is happening over here? <laughs> Wait, I thought I was alone in the woods with Denali. You accidentally backed me too. <laughs> oh Lord, can I open this? I don't even know where I was. Well, what I was saying, oh, we're, we're birthing. <laughs> it's a forest birth. That's good. You're looking good. Anyway, where- Wait, where, thumbnail. Yes, here's the thumbnail. <laughs> where was I? I forgot. Oh, oh was, and a uh, piece of equipment. A piece of gear that enhances the capabilities of my Dutchware Chameleon hammock. But I was also about to say, I actually have two things to show you today. Now I've done two separate videos already on the chameleon hammock, so I won't go into details on that. One of them goes over the system really up close and personal. The other one specifically talks about the fact that you can use this spreader bar system here, along with the beetle buckle suspension, to set up two hammocks on one tree. So if you want more specifics on that or how this is actually working, go ahead and check out that video. I'll link it up above me. But right now we're just gonna focus on putting a bug net on that system. Now before it was just two netless hammocks side by side and they each had their own bug net. So we were on one tree under one tarp. We're actually still working on getting a correct tarp, but on one tree under one tarp and we had our own bug nets. So we couldn't, you know, we were separated and it was just, I know, it was terrible. We couldn't hold hands. We couldn't hold hands, people. <laughs> this, is, this is actually how we hold This is what we do. <laughs> what do we have, hooves? Yeah, this what? is this is a weird way to hold hands, but that's what we do all the time. All, we're a very close couple, all the time. Matter of fact, this intro, she told me to not let people know how obsessed we are with holding hands all the time. And it was really hard for me in these last three minutes to actually film this without holding hands. So we gotta go back. Just, Wait, no, what? Hove, hove Oh, style. right, hove style. <laughs> um, you know what, I'm gonna try, to, one step at a time, I'm gonna try you to actually style too? Give do me your the rest call. of the video not holding hands, but it's gonna be painful. But anyway, Where's the point of the hook? story is you had your Where's own bug nets, right? Well, this system right here, and there's actually two of them that Dutch came out with that are really cool. This one is called the Double Dutch. It's specifically for the chameleon hammock. That's the type of hammock system we have here. It zips on and zips the two together into one kind of mega hammock for two people. And it's real nice and clean and Why integrate. Why do you have to say mega? What's Not wrong? That? No, Sarah, no, never, never. I can do this. We cannot hold hands for a couple minutes. Uh, again, where are we? Um, mega hammock. Right, so it integrates really seamlessly. There's these zippers on the chameleon system that are kind of unique because you can easily remove items from it and it makes the system really modular. So you can have it with no bug net, you can have it with a bug net, or you can have a solid cover for winter. That works really well to get the bug net on here. And I'll show you underneath here, you can actually see some of it. This solid cover that goes in between that seals up the gap between the two hammocks. That's pretty cool. The other system that we'll throw on here next is a bug net that can work with any hammock. It doesn't have to be the chameleon. And it's gonna go just around the whole thing. And that way, if you already have hammocks and you wanna do something like this, all you'd have to do is buy the beetle buckle strap system and the spreader bar, which I'll point out the spreader bar is 32 inches. I originally got it from Dutch at 36 and it was a little wide, especially for using a tarp. Dutch has pretty much said that his official recommendation for this system is the 32 inch spreader bar. He has different lengths on his website. All I did was take a pipe cutter and I cut four inches off of this guy and it's good to go. So now I'm at 32 inches, we're a little closer together, which is good because you know we have that obsessive hand holding thing going on. And then on top of that, it should give us more capabilities with the tarp, which we're still looking for. Dutch does have a recommendation on that as well. A 10 by 11 foot rectangular tarp, I think he said works pretty well. There's one by a company called Jacks or Better that I think he specifically recommended, but we're kind of playing that by ear. Now the cool thing about the other system where the bug net goes all the way around it is that it has a solid bottom, which we'll see, but <laughs> one of the <laughs> solid bottom. That's good. That's why you're here. Yeah, I like it. It's zingers like that to keep her on the channel. Um, it has a bottom that is kind of like a bathtub bottom, and a pet can come in with you. Oh, of we have one. I know we, we do. So to Although have he's a pet. off camera right now. Come on over, buddy. We have one of those. He can go underneath we in that area, and you can zip up the bug net, and he'll be contained within it, which we can't do with this system. So plus and minuses to both. I'm going to hop in here. You can see that it's a little off kilter right now. Sarah's, I mean, you're comfortable. You were laying down a minute ago, right? Mm -hmm. But when I get in, she will slowly raise. So, um, you know, that's something to 
be aware it's of like for this system. It's a fine pizza dough. Make sure my pockets are free of anything sharp. All right, buddy, watch out. Don't sit on me. And we're going up. I'll point out something that seems really obvious, but please be aware of it. The way this system is set up, there's only a bar at one end. So he made the net to fit that. It has a tapered kind of shape. It's narrow at one end, and then the bug net flares out over here. Like a true, really smart person, I put the bar down there. <laughs> Luckily, as I was getting in, realized my mistake. Otherwise, I would have probably completely ruined this lovely new piece of gear. So keep that in mind. Please don't be like me and put the bar at the wrong end if you're using this system. Two choice works. Oh man, this feels good. Right? I do love this hammock. No joke. Sarah was saying she really likes the stretchiness of it. It's um, a little firmer than some of the hammocks that she's had in terms of stretchiness. It's still got some stretch to it, but just not too much. It's like a, it's a firm stretch. I like it. Yeah. It feels good. Man, this thing's comfy. And right now it feels just as comfortable as it always does. I feel no difference. I've used this on several trips now. Really like it and it feels just as good right now. It's just that we're both in this little enclosure. So, oh, thank God, holding hands again. I'm gonna take my shoes off. We also hold feet, but I figured that might be just too much for, <laughs> to put on camera. Know. So I'm what gonna reach down here and zip it up. It, trust me, there's ways. Um, all right, so I'm zipping in, people. Bye. Uh, me, I will not be zipping in because bug nets freak me out. So I don't even know why you're bothering doing that because I'm going to let all the bugs in on my Yeah, here's the, here's the irony. And, um, you know, we're testing this out for Dutch and we really appreciate it. But Thanks, my, wife, my wife is actually pretty claustrophobic with bug nets. And unless the bugs are really out, she likes to sleep without it. But I always want to have that capability with me because while she may not like a bug net in the enclosure, she likes to be a little bit more just out in the open. You, if there's mosquitoes, the lesser of two evils is you got to put that bug net on. So we will have this available, but it feels pretty good. And obviously Sarah has a zipper on the other side so she can... Should I zipper it? I don't even think they can see it, but if you want to prove to everybody that you're capable of zippering... Oh no, oh. you don't need to prove that. No, okay. We'll just right. do that. You're confident. People believe you can zipper. <laughs> uh, I got these nice zipper pulls on the inside so you can open it. Sarah asked earlier, what about the under quilts? There are clips all along here. I should say D-rings all around here that you can clip your under quilt onto using the clips on the under quilt. The D-rings are on the outside, so you can still attach your under quilt to these little clips. Now, on my last two trips, I forgot to even do that and it still worked fine. But if you find that your under quilt is shifting around a bit, there are these D-rings that you can take the clips on your under quilt and attach to, and that way it won't shift around. So this bug net system will not encumber that. You'll still be able to use your under quilt just as you always did. That's good to know. I'm gonna hop out. I think I'm just gonna give you guys a close-up look. In between, here's a close-up view of that solid piece. This is another thing that I wasn't that smart about, but I put this on backwards the first time. You'll notice um, on the inside, I have it and it's a shinier. Oh, hi, Sarah. Oh, hi. It's a sh How's it going? It's going. What All are right. you doing? I'm doing pretty good. Or, what did Trail Slipper say in the last? What are you doing? Just doing. Hey. What are you doing? Just doing. Huh? Doing. Yeah. <laughs> that was interesting on my uh, video where we talked about Cuban uh... tarps. Mike and I did. But you'll notice it's a little shinier on one side. Put that on the inside because what happens is the system, you might be wondering how does it seal out the bugs. What happens is it kind of folds over and underneath here are some really quick clips. Whoops, just took one off. And that holds it in place. This really just kind of seals right up against it. Makes a nice seal, keeps those bugs out. So you want to make sure those clips are on the outside. Keep in mind, shiny side in. On the other end, there is a similar setup, but because it's tapered and narrower down here, it is just one. So right there, one clip, same idea, it folds over, seals up real nice. I should also point out too, both systems, what you'll get with it is this extra large stuff sack. It works exactly like the double-ended stuff sack that comes with all of Dutch's hammocks already, but this one is extra big. So when you break this down, you actually can shove both hammocks together into the stuff sack which obviously is much bigger and fits the complete system. So in my case, I'll carry this hammock body and bug net, and then Sarah will probably just carry the straps and the poles. I'm not carrying Oh, she just said she's not carrying anything. <laughs> so there you go. That covers, I do believe, the double dutch, which is the zippered on version that works specifically with the chameleon. So now 
let's switch over to the bird's nest, and that's the system that works with any two hammocks. Oh, there it is. You guys are looking good. <laughs> so now you can see what I was talking about earlier. It's got that solid bottom on it that goes against the ground, and it may look like when you first set it up that the net, the bird's nest, is hanging above the ground, but if you hang at a reasonable amount off the ground like we were, we actually thought we were a little too low at first, but this worked out perfectly. Once you put a little weight in there, you're good. If you were up in the air a little higher and this didn't touch the ground, Dutch doesn't recommend putting any more than a few pounds of, say, gear in there suspended below you. But if you plan on having a pet or maybe your wife hang out down there, um, you know, just hang it with that in mind so you have space for it to touch the ground. And there it is. So any two hammocks can go in there. Same idea, it is tapered at one end, which you may notice we have the spreader bar down here because we just threw the bird's nest on real quick and then realized that we were backwards. So we just took the spreader bar and popped it down there and we're set up and ready to go with our heads down that end now. There's a zipper on each side. So either person can get in and out of their own little zipper. Thank you, Vanna. So it's a Yay. double zipper. <laughs> there he is. Hey, buddy. Oh boy. There you go. Don't go too far. So there you go. Very simple and straightforward on this one too, but it seems to work really well. And it basically, the way we loaded it in there was, you just pick a door. Hey Sarah, you just pick a door, unzip it, put both hammocks in there, or in our case, we did one end at a time. So we never even had to take it off the trees, which was pretty cool. And we slipped it in there and then you come down the other end and you'll notice there's just a small hole right here that is just big enough to go around your hammock body. And it pokes out right there. Small hole, obviously two of them. So you just slip it through there, do that on the other end as well, and you're all set. So you can see the spreader bar poles down there and Sarah's fingers apparently getting in the shot. Thank you, darling. Hey. <laughs> and there you go. There's not a whole lot to say about this one because it is just straightforward and simple and I like it. I do like having the dog in there too. And from what Dutch said, someone asked, are you gonna make this for single hammocks as well? I forget if he said yes or no, but he basically did say in his response that I read that you could put this on a single hammock and it would work just fine. So Nolly seems pretty comfortable with it already, which is cool. And Sarah, do you have a preference on either one? I know you're just uh, starting to use these. I don't, not yet. Okay. Jury's still out, man. All right. That makes sense. Are we gonna bring both? I mean, there's no reason we can't. I should point out, wait, 14 ounces for the bird's nest right here. This is a bird's nest? That's what it's called, the bird's it nest. It's like the cabana. Hey, look. Let's rename it. All right, tell okay. Dutch. And the double Dutch, which is the integrated one, adds about 10 ounces. It's 10 ounces by itself. So for 14 ounces, a little under a pound, we could bring this with us as well, Sarah, and experiment with both. I was both. thinking because we have two nights. Right. So the one night we could do the other one, this one we could do the other one. And then that way he can just be on the ground if we didn't want to mess with the hammock on one night for him. Yeah, that's true. I say we bring them both. Try yeah, them both out. there's no reason we can't. We're going for three days, two nights, so we could even try one one night and one the other. That's what I just said. <laughs> I was, I was playing with you the- You weren't paying attention. I was playing with the focus. Story of my life. I was playing with the focus. Story of my life. Speaking of which, we, we need to focus. I think we're covered. I think so. I like it. They're both seem really cool. Yeah. I'm excited to try them out. So there you go. So you can do the end of this video. What do I say? Until next time, Cabana so, and then the double touch. Isn't that a jump rope? Yeah, that's the joke, Sarah. You like that? So there you have it. There's the cabana and then the double dutch by Dutchwear. I like how you use your hands a lot when I mock you. <laughs> I'm Syntax77, my lovely wife, and Denali. Have fun out there. Ba -dum -bum -bum. Ching! Ching! I'm excited to sleep in these. Yeah? Yeah, they're nice. We're gonna take these to the Adirondacks. Do a little trip. Damn it. Now that fall is upon us. Yes, indeed. Oh, I didn't get that. Oh, wait, I'm getting it. <laughs> You're getting it. I'm getting it. Look, should I try to do like a Cirque du Soleil on this? Yeah, I wouldn't do chin-ups on the bar. <laughs>